morning and welcome back to Breakfast Television. We're spending our morning in Arbrig, Manitoba at the Arbrig and District Multicultural Heritage Village, learning a little bit about the pioneers in rural Manitoba and how they went about their daily routines, including break baking bread. Now, we take it for granted. We can just go to the store and pick up a loaf whenever we want. But for those who settled rural Manitoba, it was a lot of extra work, and they used one of these clay ovens, which... If you've never had bread out of a clay oven, it is absolutely heavenly. We're going to talk a little bit about how those things work and how they were built. It's a very interesting story, especially how they knew if they are warm enough. But before we get to that, let's get to the bread recipe. I'd like to introduce you to Rosemary Thorkelson. You've been working very hard this morning, Rosemary, getting this ready for us. So thanks for taking care of breakfast. Oh, you're welcome. All right, let's talk about bacon bread. So we know that it was tough in the, the days of our grandparents and our great-grandparents. How would they go about it? How many loaves of bread would they make at a time? Probably 10 or 12. 10 or 12. And how long would that last people? Oh, well, it depends how many kids are eating. So what would be an average family size uh, for people who had been uh, growing up in this area? Well, my grandparents had 10 children. 10 children? Yes. Why so many? Who, who knows? Who knows, hey? They just were working really hard on the farm. Now, uh, you're making uh, your own special bread recipe, but if uh, we want to get some uh, good cooking ideas of what it would have been like for the pioneers, check out this baby right here. This thing is a cookbook from the Arbergen District Multicultural Heritage Village. Got some great recipes that uh, the early Ukrainian and Icelandic settlers would have been making. And, Rosemary, you got this this bread on the go, but you made this loaf for us a little bit earlier. So is it safe yep. if I put this one in the oven? Yes. It's ready to go? Okay. So, um, Stan, I'm going to pass this to you because you're the expert. You're the guy who actually built this oven, correct? That's right. All right, so let's get this uh, let's get this one cooking. And uh, there was a loaf that you put in there earlier this morning that's finished. Let's take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Now, you got this uh, you got this oven started for us very early in the morning, and it feels pretty warm to me. Yeah. But uh, back in the olden days, when Ukrainians were trying to figure out if their oven was hot enough for baking, how would they know if the temperature was right? Because they wouldn't have had thermometers. No, they uh, they would uh, once they took the fire out, they stick their arm in there, and uh, if you can count to ten and your arm was still in there, it wasn't hot enough. So you'd stick your bare arm in the oven, and if you could count to ten without burning yourself, you knew that it wasn't hot enough. That's right. Yeah. Sounds like a, a painful way to know if your your be- bread was ready to go. Yeah. Now, can I ask about these clay ovens? Why why were they making these things? Well, that was uh, the early pioneers never had no stoves or anything, so that was a uh, means of, you know, cooking. So, so, for those people who were first coming to rural Manitoba, everyone who wanted to bake had to create their own clay oven? That's right. Sounds like a lot of work. How long does it take to make one of these things, like the one you guys have here? Well, this one takes about uh, anywhere from 50 to 70 hours to build complete. Wow, no kidding. So, this was something that everybody had to have. And how did they first find out, hey, you know what? We've got clay. Clay is really, really good for cooking and makes our baking taste delicious. Well, the old story goes that uh, these two pioneers were pulling out an old stump with the oxen and they found a whole bunch of clay underneath this stump and they got the idea that uh, it was good enough or something. So they used it for chinking their homes, the log houses. Uh huh. And then later on, they figured it was good enough to build a clay oven. So No kidding. So clay, very, very important to the early pioneers. They use it to cook their food, and they use it to build their houses. Coming up on Breakfast Television, we're going to show you a little bit about how a Ukrainian log house was chinked. That's the process of using the clay to help fill in the gaps in the walls. That's something that you can help out with here at the Arbrig and District Multicultural Heritage Village. And we'll tell you a little bit about that later this morning on Breakfast Television.